Hey there, is solar imploding? The recent spate of bankruptcies with large solar companies like Titan, ADT and Vision seem to suggest just that. The reality is the exact opposite. We are actually at the dawn of a new solar age. Solar energy is poised to transform our very lives in the next two decades. The recent bankruptcies are only blimps in the inexorable rise of solar and the transformational impact it will have on our future. New York inventor Charles Fritz installed the first solar panels on a New York City rooftop way back in 1884. These solar panels were made of selenium with a thin layer of gold on top. And these panels convert about 1% of the sun's radiation into electricity. It took 70 years until 1954 before AT&T's Bell Labs unveiled the first commercially viable silicon solar cells that are ubiquitous today. Those cells converted up to about 6% of the solar radiation into electricity in 1954. Today, another 70 years have passed since those first silicon cells were unveiled in 1954. And commercial solar panels are converting between 19 to 23% of the solar radiation into electricity. About 6% of the world's global electricity production today is generated by solar. The last two decades have seen an explosive growth in the adoption of solar panels. You know, to call solar panels rise exponentially is not hyperbole but a statement of fact. Installed solar capacity has been doubling roughly every three years and growing tenfold every decade, with global solar panels today covering an area almost half of New Jersey. And the most remarkable thing about the rise of solar power is that it is nowhere near over. Now, such sustained growth is seldom seen in any industry. It's actually hard to fathom this space of growth. And for most folks, it's not easy to get our heads around it. Solar will grow another tenfold in the next decade. That'll add eight times the energy generation capacity of all the nuclear reactors in the world. And all this in less time than it typically takes to build just one new nuclear reactor. Solar will likely be the single biggest source of electrical power on the planet by the mid-2030s. Around the corner, by the 2040s, they may be the largest source not just of electricity, but of all energy. And the cost of solar electricity will likely be less than half of the cheapest available source of energy. Can you imagine how that will impact life as we know it today? The biggest impact will be on climate change. Solar will not stop climate change, but could slow its impact significantly. The other major impact will actually be on humankind. Today, there are over 600 million people that don't have access to basic electricity to light their homes. By the 2040s, that will be a thing of the past. The world will move from energy scarcity to being energy rich. That feeling will be new and a transformational one for humankind. Many of you might think solar power is just a dream for environmentalists. But let's look at the economics of solar energy. The more we produce of any good, the cheaper it gets, the cheaper it gets, more people want it, and this virtuous cycle keeps driving down costs and boosting demand. Now, in earlier energy transitions, this cycle of lower costs and high demand was eventually halted. When we transitioned from wood to coal, then from coal to oil, and now from oil to gas, the production and extraction efficiency grew. But eventually, it was offset by the cost of finding ever more fuel. 
at some point we lost out. Solar power faces no such constraint. Solar cells are made from abundant silicon rich sand. There is no shortage of sunny places for solar panels to thrive in. All it needs is human ingenuity, which is abundant. Solar power itself will generate the energy needed to make these solar cells. What about demand for electricity? It is massive and flexible. The cheaper it gets, the more uses we find for it. Of course, there are challenges. Solar power needs to be stored for use during nighttime and needs to be integrated with other technologies. Plus, some sectors like heavy industry, aviation, and freight are still tough to electrify. But with advancements in batteries and electrolysis solutions all on the near horizon, this should be a problem that we have solved. Another issue is the concentration of solar power or solar panel production in China. China's solar industry is competitive and heavily subsidized, outpacing global demand. This dominance is concerning especially for countries like us. The US has responded back with tariffs on Chinese solar equipment. But to all this, there is a silver lining. The demand for solar panels is still growing globally at an exponential rate, providing plenty of opportunities for other countries to enter the market. In the US, easing the process of installing solar panels and making it easier to connect to the grid could unlock further huge potential. The goal is to accelerate this virtual cycle of solar production leading to cheaper energy. Along with increases in productivity, everything using energy today will cost less. Chief energy means more people can afford essentials like lighting and transportation. We can purify and desalinate water, power artificial intelligence advancements, make homes and offices more comfortable as our planet warms. And the most exciting part, the possibilities we haven't yet imagined. Cheaper abundant energy will spark new ideas and innovations, setting our imaginations free and unleashing possibilities that don't even exist today. To the new dawn of the solar age. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Till the next time.